much for coming back as a subscriber. Thank you so much for your support. I recently reached 200 subscribers. I'm excited because obviously it means that we are going somewhere. Hi to everyone that is new. You are officially locked into the Travel From Home series where we cook and try out foods from different parts of the world. So still on an island since that Jamaican video. So what we gonna do is, what we gonna do is we just gonna hop on a boat real quick and we just gonna travel just like a couple of hours across the ocean and we gonna visit Cuba today. And guess what they have in Cuba? Mojito, mojito. <laughs> in fact, on my Instagram story, I think two weeks ago, or was it last week? I think last week in my Instagram story, I made a strawberry daiquiri. Everyone was DMing me, the recipe, the recipe, the recipe now. I'm like, oh, this is a little bit tense because I didn't shoot it. I didn't know you guys would want to see that, but like, now I have to go restock my daiquiri ingredients and prepare my prepare to shoot a video so that will be coming up in a couple of days weeks i do not know but that will that will definitely be on my to shoot list for everyone but today we are making a mojito so everyone that wanted to decorate i'm super sure that you are interested in mojitos i've got four variations um of mojitos number one i'm going to make the original which is not so original I prefer, excuse me, I prefer my mojito with lemonade instead of soda water. And that's the only difference. Number two, we're going to have a blueberry mojito. Number three, we're going to have a pink lemonade mojito. And number four, we're going to try out a coconut mojito. A lot of people have had a mojito before, but... A lot of people don't know where it comes from. Mojito is a drink that originates from Cuba. Take a pen and paper and jot these ingredients down. They're super easy to even memorize. Um, you don't need a lot of things, honestly. I, you, as you will see, I don't actually have a lot of professional equipment. I literally just make do with what I have. So do not judge me, okay? I'm young. We're gonna make do with what we got. We're gonna crush it the way we need to crush it. Sleep. You can try these drinks out without alcohol. They taste equally as amazing. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get into the kitchen and try these out. So here it is. What you need is your mint leaves, sugar, lemonade, your lemon and lime, um, as well as some ice. You can add some white rum if you want it to be alcoholic. Rinse your mint leaves and then break them into your glass or your jug. And then you add some sugar. I've used two tablespoons for one jug. Mix it up and try to crush them in so that the flavor is more potent. This step is optional. If you want it to be alcoholic, you can add your white rum to your discretion. I added 10 seconds of rum and you have to mix it up. And obviously the alcohol has to go before the lemonade. Squeeze in some lemon juice so that it has that sour taste that we all want. Um, as well as, yeah, also squeeze in some lime juice. I didn't mind that the seeds were falling in because obviously it's a jug and it really didn't bother me. But you can de-seed it if you want. Stir up the new mix and as you'll see I started crushing the mint again because I felt like it wasn't as minty as I wanted it to be. Try not to crush it too much otherwise it'll make your drink a bit bitter. Pop in your lemon and lime wedges, add some ice, lots and lots of ice. If you're using a jug obviously you're going to add more than you would if you're just using a glass. Now mix it all up just before the last step. 
lemonade time so you're just gonna add your lemonade or you could add your soda water as per the traditional mojito And voila, this is the traditional mojito. Now for the blueberry mojito, what we need is some blueberry puree. The steps are the same as the original mojito. We crush up the mint, then we add our puree. I'm adding two teaspoons into one glass, crushing them up, mixing them together. This is an optional step again, if you do want to make it alcoholic you can add white rum. I'm adding two caps into one glass. Obviously we're going to need lots and lots of ice, you can crush it if you want but I just added ice cubes and now it's lemonade time. almost forgot to add my lemon and lime juice you're just going to squeeze it in like this mind that the seeds don't get in since it's a glass squeeze it nicely like that all right and now we're just going to garnish and make it look cute but we're essentially done All right, so for those with a, a tooth for sour things, if you like your drinks a bit more towards the sour side, we are going to replace the lemonade soft drink with pink lemonade. So you can find this uh, from Woolworths. I got mine from Woolworths. It's really sour, but it really adds like an exciting um, flavor to the mojito. So for the coconut mojito, we're going to be using coconut milk. Uh, first, we're going to crush the ice. As you can see, I put mine in a plastic bag and crushed it with a wooden spoon. I'm going to pop that in there. We've already added the mint and the sugar and the lemon juice. Now we've just added the coconut milk. We're going to stir it all together. If you can get your hands on some coconut water, you can add that as well. Lots and lots of lime. A lot of lime juice and stir it up stir it up and voila we're done thank you so much for joining me again i really hope you enjoyed that you guys can actually suggest some places you want to visit together from home since we can't travel internationally let's let's do this thing from home so if you haven't subscribed please click the subscribe button thumbs up comment click on the alerts yeah, do everything because come on, the app, so you have to come back and you have to stay. Now a part of you has officially been in Cuba. Otherwise, enjoy your day.